hey, check this out. They have two turrets. And they have two turrets. Amazing. And look, this one has six turrets. Overlord is supreme. Hey, look, I'm an experienced general. Check out these numbers. Hey, if you look closely, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. What? Air Force or airfields have six bays? Since when? And the power plants are purple? He has missiles with his ships? The Humvees have cannons? What is this craziness? Future Yanis here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick thing and say that the idea that I thought about here when I was thinking of the copying this over was to diversify the generals more. So the laser general has a laser Comanche, where the laser general or the uh, Air Force general has the artillery Humvee and so on, and the, the six bay um, uh, airfield, you know, all that stuff. I thought, you know, let's upgrade it. Let's make it more diverse, like more specific. Same thing with the power plant. That's just like, it's like what makes it unique. So, like, for example, I had the Tomahawk Comanche to the Air Force General, and the same with the artillery Humvee. And as you can see, it's just, it just has the, the Hawk weapon right there. You know, it's just kind of like an upgraded version to, to make it more unique for that general. That was my idea behind it, and I just stumbled upon it, and it actually worked. It's crazy. Probably wondering how I did that. So what I did was I added the customized unit, as you normally would to any general. So like, say, I have them on the, my cane and boss general. So you put it on their one general, and then you will copyright or rather you will copy and paste and overwrite the unit in a general that you want to add it to. So for example, I have you seen the dual laser and the dual battle master. So I just copyright it or overwrote the battle master to be the dual one. And then I did the same thing for the laser and I did the same thing for the other stuff too. The building even the same exact thing. So what you want to do is you want to go find your unit and you want to keep the same. You do this is the point. This has to be the same. All this has to be the same. Now obviously you can change this all that. You know, you can add to it and all that, but you don't touch this. All you got to do is copy and paste from this point down. So all the way down. The whole entire unit all the way to the end. And then you just copy and paste it. And then go back and edit some of the things to make it appropriate for the general. So you would go back in this case and change the prerequisite to the um, laser general for the command set. And the prerequisite the, the to object to build it is the airfield. And then obviously you can, you know, change things. And then you would do that for the other units. Same thing with the buildings, too. And as you saw, the six turrets. It's the AI use them just like anything else. It's amazing. And the last section of this video, we are going to talk to the AI. We are going to ask ChatGPT, what should I add to my mod? So I asked it to give me eight ideas. And some of them, I mean, they make sense. I mean, they're just generic. But, you know, we did these already. And then I said... Let's give specific examples for 2 and 5. And these are already in the game, really. I mean, this is just flavoring right here with the crypto beam and toxic cloud as the anthrax. And this is carpet bombing. But it's already a thing. Just larger area. And then stealth. It's like, what is this? But airstrike barrage. I think that's a cool idea. So what do we mean exactly? What is a barrage? Maybe we can make like something multi-waves, like maybe you have an EMP comes in, get some Aurora bombs or uh, Daisy Cutter bombs or, or uh, uh, Mother of All bombs and then some, and then end it off with a carpet bombing, right? I think that's a good idea. So we're going to head in. So obviously choose your general. We're going to need the object creation list, the locomotor, special power, command button, command set, and eventually science I and I files. This is going to be pretty cool. So we're going to hop into object creation list and we are going to find well pretty much any power drop one or, or carpet bombing one. That's what I did here is I copied the carpet bombing and so we're going to do that, change the name, and we're going to play with the things a little bit. We're going to make this beautiful, we're going to make this perfect, and that's about it. All right, so the way that I would create this is, so we would go into the object creation list and grab, like say the carpet bombing or the A-10, uh, or the A-10 Thunderbolt missile strike, uh, 
the carpet bombing works too. You can just, you know, stack them together, use either or or both in this case. So we're just going to, let's create our own version of this. So we, in this case, I've already created this in advance and tested it out already. Um, I actually have, so we are going to create our own folder, copy things over, and in this case, I have the delivery payload to be the EMP pulse for the start. I'm going to have the Thunderbolt attack with five of them, and then I'm going to have the I'm going to have the B3 bomber come in with the mother of all bombs drop, and then I'm going to finish it off with a carpet bombing. All right, so I did just show you that it did work, but let's see what I did. So. In the next, after we have everything set up, we are going to go into the specialpower.ini, and we are going to copy over anything. In this case, I copied over the daisy cutter. Put a semicolon there to take away the science required. We'll add that later if need be. Um, I put down the reload time so it can be all, and then we will go on to our next step. We are going to go to the command button and the command set which is pretty easy. In this case, I just copied the special power for the daisy cutter, and I just copied it over, actually I did the uh, carpet bomb, then I copied it over, renamed it, put the special power in there from the last step. Make sure you go to options and delete the need power for science, and then we will move on to our next step. Don't forget this step. Go to your boss general, in this case, so the general you want to add this special power to, and then copy over probably the A-10, and you just rename it, put the airstrike, put your, this is the special power dot I and I, this is the object creation list, I and I, and cr make sure its create location is create at edge near source, and then you should be able to have it enabled. Our, our next step is you should be able to use it. You should give it a test now, it should work because you can go to the command set dot ini and in this case I put it on the command center to test it out so go give it a shot <clears throat> and as you saw I have a now we win it if you want to make it even like cooler and make it like worth the earn it you can go to science dot ini and we can put whatever we want in this case let's say that's appropriate for a rank 8 so you can just take a rank 8 and copy it over you, you can uh, put in the need special science back into the command slot, go to special power, change the science required to science rank eight, and then remove the science or the semicolon. And the reason why I have locomotor in here is because if you want to make it more defined, what you can do is copy these transports and make it like a clone of them and then edit their locomotors so their engines so you can time it better for the effectiveness and that's all she wrote um thank you very much i appreciate the uh, subs and if you have any questions comments curiosities please feel free to ask if you have any video ideas um something that i can look into even uh i can try thank you very much and uh have a good day mod on friends